Hello everyone, and I think we need to do this. I need to do this. And everyone, I'm giving you, because if everyone's seen uh, my previous video actually saying Disney sucks and everything, I might have gave you a little rundown of why I don't like them, but I'm going to give you today the full list, along with other things, because they've done other things too that actually will make you say, dude, Disney, Disney's messed up. Disney sucks. You shouldn't support them. All right, let's go for it. First things first is, and of course, let me say this, this is not going to be like top 10. So there's some that's very important and there's others that most likely to my eye, I don't really give a care about, but I know other people do. And yeah, I mean, let's get it going, shall we? Number one, Spectacular Spider-Man. So for people who don't know, Spectacular Spider-Man is claimed one of the best Spider-Man series that ever existed. I mean, this is the series that actually allowed Spider-Man to be in high school. He actually is in high school, unlike his predecessors of Spider-Man, the animated series, which he was in college. The new Spider-Man animates, no, technically Spider-Man, the new animated series, and that one, he was still in college. And then Spider-Man Unlimited, oh yeah, that was before then, sorry. Spider-Man Unlimited is between those two. And I think he actually was done. Yeah, he's finished with college and now he's just a reporter. So you have this actual Spider-Man series of him in high school. The first one, unlike the other one, which that's going to be on the list too. So here's what's messed up that went down. What's messed up is the fact of you had Spectacular Spider-Man showing up on 4Kids TV. No, 4Kids, CW4Kids, sorry, it's CW4Kids. And then as soon as he showed up, it was world-renowned. Everyone loved it. Everyone loved that series. And then here comes Disney XDs out of nowhere saying, I'll take it off your hands. Yeah, that's what happened. Season 1 ended, and then Disney XDs took it away. So that means everyone who actually didn't have cable, everyone who has only broadcast, is screwed from the get-go because now you have to buy it from cable slash satellite. And not only that, but you have to buy it included in cable, meaning you actually have to pay even more because you want to see Disney XDs. So, yeah, and then it gets even worse than that. So, 2009, they showed Spider-Man, Spectacular Spider-Man Season 2. Lucky for, luckily for me, a nice Australian guy named Spider-Web, Spider-Web Spider-Swing, he actually uploaded all of the episodes of Season 2, which sadly, his account is no more. His account has been destroyed because, well, they eventually found it, and they were like, oh, hell no, because he had every single episode of Spectacular Spider-Man on there, and then, you know what copyright freaking strikes do, you know what happens. He, technically, prior to, as soon as he heard the bad news, he left. He quit YouTube. But anyways, let's continue on. So, I was able to watch it. I was happy as hell. The second series uh, the second season was fantastic it was very fantastic and it's kind of shocking and total bull crap that not only they actually just didn't put it on cable for i mean on broadcast so people kids can watch it they just allowed it to just be for 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 freaking d disney xds which is total total bull crap and you're being selfish so, yeah, here's the worst news, is that in 2010, 2011, they decide to just have a grand pause. But the contract state, they get five seasons. That's the contract. Five seasons. And instead, huh, I don't know, some, yeah, they were explaining the rights and stuff. They were trying to see getting the rights back, and that happened in 2011, actually. So, maybe it was happening in 2010 as well, but it's kind of like, um, but you still have the contract with Greg Wiseman here. You have, still have that contract, and no matter what's going on, 
at least season three should have happened. I mean, it makes sense. But instead, they just had a big fat halt. And we were just sitting here waiting saying, where's the next season? Come on, Disney. Where's the next season, you idiot? And instead, it turned into back to, well, we got the rights. All the rights have been fixed up and everything. And guess what? Well, screw you, everybody. Yeah, that's what they said is, screw you, everybody. In April 2012, we're going to have a brand new Spider-Man series. So you just showed a big middle finger to every single person who loves Spectacular Spider-Man. And now you have this brand new Spider-Man, which it's on the list. I'll explain later on that. But still... What's even worse is Greg Wiseman didn't learn about it until when they announced a um, brand new Spider-Man series coming very soon. And it, it it's total crap. It's total bull crap. You had a freaking damn contract. Screw the crap of, oh, but the rides and all. Man, the rides and all. It's like, screw that. All right? <clears throat> even if it wasn't Disney who was publishing it. Even if it's just Disney who actually got the rights to actually show it. That doesn't mean crap. That means that Disney, no matter who actually has the dispute on who gets to do what, it's on your freaking damn channel. That means it doesn't really matter. You're getting money either way. That means shut the hell up and let the rest of it happen. What the frick, stupid damn Disney? What the frick? <clears throat> But anyways, the good news is that at least they showed some consideration. The fact that they gave us the first season of Spectacular Spider-Man on DVD. And then, yeah, then they showed the big middle finger saying, yeah, we're not going to do season two on DVD. If you want the second season, you're going to have to buy the Blu-ray Blu with all 26 episodes on there. I'm like, dude, you serious? It's easy just to produce another one. I mean, you'll get more money. You won't lose if you just make another freaking DVD for season two. You won't lose anything. You have more gaining than actually losing. And I'm like, dude, what the frick? <sighs> so this is one reason why you should hate Disney. It's because they took Spectacular Spider-Man and then they did this crap. It's kind of a little bit worse than what they did with Doug. Which, that's another one to actually be on the list as, too, as well. But still, <clears throat> Specular Spider-Man should have five seasons. Let's count it out, shall we? 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012. Look at that. It fits. It fits. All you had to do is just take a January and February, maybe even March, and throw those 13 episodes in those three seasons. I mean, in those three months heck maybe just take january and february and that means that you have eight weeks right eight to nine weeks so maybe every two episodes a week for maybe january so then that means that for february you might have to do that too but at least the good news is that like for yeah technically it could be done in february because january you have eight and then february you have two and in the last month last week of spectacular spider-man you could put three episodes at the same time and that's how you freaking finish it off there you go and then you have march where there's nothing else march there's nothing no new episodes of spectacular spider-man it's done and in april you can start with your bullcrap series of ultimate spider-man that's why i dislike disney that's one that's number one Number two, <clears throat> number two is very, very crucial. Number two is the real reason I truly started hating Disney is the fact of Disney bought all of Fox Kids stuff. Yeah, for people who don't know is that I actually explained it on a Fox Kids. So yeah, you can check out the Fox Kids video, but I'll just make it very, very short. This is what happened. So... Jaime Sabanz was stupid enough to buy the Family Channel, turn to Fox Family. Then it turns out, oh crap, that was a bad decision. Then he had to sell crap. So 
he basically decided to sell crap instead of being like, oh, I have millions of dollars. I can save you all. Instead, he's like, yeah, I'm going to sell my freaking crap and stock and crap. So he had 50%. He gave all that to Disney. And then Newsweek had to cringe. Newsweek was staying strong at first. But then as soon as it's like, man, this war is not going to... There's no hope. Then Newsweek just said, fine, take it. And Disney gave him money. And then Jaime Saban's run like a freaking wuss all the way to freaking France, where that's the last place that we knew about Saban's all the way until he made Saban's brands. So Fox Family turned into ABC Family, which Fox Family was awesome. And now it's, yeah, look at it today. Today, it's total bullcrap. Today, it's really messed up bullcrap. I mean, come on, look at Fox Family. Fox Family had... Monster Rancher, um, Monster Farm, Oh No, Mr. Bill Presents, Pee Wee, um, Donkey Kong Country, Goosebumps was on there, Three Friends and Larry, uh, Beast Wars was shown on there. There's so many freaking crap that they had on there. And they also showed Power Rangers too, at least later on they did. And also they had the Adams Family. I'll mention that as well. <sighs> So they took all that. They had all of the freaking damn archives of of Fox Kids. And they basically said, welcome to JetX. That's what happened to it. They changed it to JetX. And then after that, they decided, hmm, we can make more money if we do this idea. And that's when they went to, I think it was Toon Disney. And then decided to make Toon Disney all for boys. So they decided let's make Disney Channel for girls and Toon Disney, that's now Disney XDs, for boys. So that means for boys, you have to pay extra money. Well, technically, families who have boys have to pay extra money so they can watch some good stuff, including Power Rangers, even though they also moved Power Rangers when they got it to ABC Kids. And what's worse is that they don't even give you a notice that, hey, if you're looking for Power Rangers Wild Force, go to watch it on ABC Kids. I didn't get that. I didn't get that memo. I actually had to, hopefully I actually saw it at the exact time when they changed it because I was like, where's Power Rangers? Matter of fact, where's Fox Kids? What the frick? <clears throat> so, yeah, that's what happened is Disney bought them and then after that, I'll say Saban's quote unquote saved them. I forgot to talk about yeah, I forgot about yeah, I'll get to that in a minute, but still. So what happened is that they did a good de kind of decent run on Power Rangers, but then as soon as they went to and let me tell you that I don't have any proof anymore, but for right now I just go with this story because it makes sense is they went to Toei, who actually gives Power Ranger footage, and asked them, hey, can we turn Power Rangers into a cartoon? Toei said no. And then Disney went all rabble, 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 and then they decided to say, screw this. Three seasons, the first three seasons of Power Rangers will be on TV. We'll refurbish it, which, oh my gosh, it was so horrible. It was so horrible. Another reason why they hate Disney is what they did to the first season of Power Rangers, the first 18 episodes before Saban saved it. Yeah, that time they did save it. Yeah, that moment they did save it. But still, oh my freaking damn God. Oh my God. But anyways. Yeah. So they decided to just kill Power Rangers off forever instead of looking for someone who wouldn't want to buy it. There's still many things that they have done to actually be still mad about because... Well, at least Beetleborgs is still with Bonds now. Beetleborgs is saved. I think Mask Rider is saved. But there's many other ones that they couldn't save. Like, for instance, Power... I mean, Spider-Man and X-Men and... Yeah. I think that's done. Yeah, we're done here. That's what happened is... Disney took over the Fox Kids archives and... Fox Family and turned it into something that's total crap. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Side note, I forgot to mention that Vortex was able to get the rights of Spectacular Spider-Man and they were able to show season two, but don't quote me on it because I'm not sure if they showed every single episode, but I can tell you that at least they saw most of season two, which I was happy. And there is technically still a, someone who's trying to work out a deal to get Spectacular Spider-Man season three, even though I don't really think it was actually this version yeah i think it's a new version of season three i don't think it's the original content of season three but they're still trying to work that out so hopefully someday it will be on tv somewhere <clears throat> of course another thing i need to talk about yeah number three is the fact that they turned disney channel into a girl channel and they turn disney xd's a boy channel for people who are looking at me right now and saying, dude, you're wrong. That's not what it did. Yes, it is. When they first revealed Disney XDs, they admitted that it was a boy channel. It's a channel for boys. They admitted that. I don't have the proof. I can't find it. it most likely it's around here somewhere. But for right now, I'm telling you the truth that, yes, they admitted it. And if you look at Disney Channel, if you just look at it, you'll see that it's technically for girls more than boys. Just look at it. Next up is also number four. Disney XDs is hogging all of the action shows. Yeah, all the superhero shows. They actually had Static Shock, and they're holding that on lockdown. Unless WB actually has that back, which I would like to say, WB, you need to do something. <clears throat> they did have Batman Superman, they had Batman, they had Spider-Man Anime Series, They, I think they even have X-Men, they have Spider-Man Unlimited, I'm not sure if they have Spider-Man a new anime series, but chances are they might have that, uh, let's see, I think they even have Silver Surfer, I think they might even have The Tick, yeah, they, they have, oh wait, The Tick was, yeah, you see, the Tick was on ABC Family. I remember that. So that means that they have the rights to that. Oof. They have so much crap. They have so many superheroes TV shows that it's kind of like, yeah, they don't need it. And at one point, I think they actually had Batman Beyond. But I think they allowed that to get out of their hands. So, yeah. Yeah. That's all I'm saying is just... They're changed. They changed their schedule, but chances are they might have the archive still of those. So that's all I'm saying. <coughs> all right. Next up is number five. I think this is number five. Um, number five is. Oh yes, I'll make it this number five. Number five is Ultimate Spider-Man: The TV Show. It sucks. The TV show sucks. I mean, it's getting better with their season three when they had to do the Spider-Verse thing. That was good. That was awesome. I loved it. It was great. But after, other than that, I mean, the first two seasons was truly, truly messed up. The only way how I was able to watch it is watching it in Spanish. And that was fitting for it. That was very fitting because I had to watch it in Spanish. That was fitting. I was okay with that. But anyways, what I think is Ultimate Spider-Man is technically Team Titans mixed with what's going on with Miles Morales and the Ultimates. The fact that Spider-Man needs a team and also they do some messed up cutout stuff where it's kind of like, yeah, dude, um, Team Titans do that. Team Titans go do that to the max now. So why you're copying? I don't get it. And oh yeah, also they're doing the thing that's go that happened way back in the first Ninja Turtle series that Raphael did. Yeah. The monologue stuff. The stuff that we talks to the people, talks to his viewers. Yeah. So mm, seriously. Mm. I mean, it's so crappy. Yeah, this show is so crappy. I don't think they should even care that it's being put on YouTube. Yeah, it's like, really, you shouldn't care. It sucks anyways. If you get publicity from other people putting it on YouTube, you should be freaking damn happy. Because other than that, it's like, 
why do we even bother trying to watch it? Because it sucks anyways. <laughs> yeah, so that's number five is Ultimate Spider-Man, the TV show. You cancel Spectacular Spider-Man. You allow Spectacular Spider-Man to get destroyed for this crap. And what's worse is that you have people who actually enjoy it. Which, I don't know what's wrong with you guys. Maybe you guys love Team Titans and this is the thing that helps you grieve over it. Especially with Team Titans Go. And if so, if this is it, this is why you like it. It's because it's like Team Titans. Well, dude, it doesn't it's supposed to be like Team Titans. Spider-Man is Spider-Man. Team Titans is Team Titans. It shouldn't be no crossover on this crap. The only way you cross it over is Spider-Man is Amazing Friends. And even so, it's kind of like there is no cutouts and chibi animation in that. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. <clears throat> well, let's see. What else? Oh, yes. Number six. Disney buying Marvel Comics. Yeah. I put this in here because, yeah, even though lots of people are going to be like, but they're the ones who help. It's like, but they are, they're, maybe they're like Pixar. They're doing with Pixar is that they're actually giving money so they're able to do whatever they want. Yeah, just like Pixar, they're able to actually do stuff. But it's Disney who pays the bills. Disney who gets the animation payments and all the technology they need to do it. But... It's still Pixar. It's still Marvel Comics. They're basically doing what they would like to do. Yeah. Seriously, I mean, there's really no difference. And besides, on, um, I forgot what it was called, Saving the Universe, whatever was the special for their 50th anniversary, they even admit it. Or was it Across the Universe? One of those, one of the specials they did yet last year. They have actually admitted in 2006 they were already planning this. So when Disney bought them, Disney had no say. Disney had nothing to do with Thor or Captain America. They were just in there just watching. It's like what they're doing with Pixar. Are they really doing anything with Pixar? No. All they're doing is just paying them to be able to do it. Or at least making sure that they have enough money to be able to do the material right. So. And it's kind of sucky that they have Marvel Comics now. It's like. They can do anything they want though. Mar I mean Disney can do whatever they want. If Disney want Howard the Duck to have his own TV show. They can do that. If they want Howard the Duck to team up with Mickey Mouse in a comic, they can do that because they're Disney. They're able to call the shots now. There's many crap that they can do because they're Disney because they own Marvel Comics that could actually wreck Marvel Comics. <clears throat> For right now, I don't see any way of them actually playing with it at all, which I'm glad, but still, I don't like it that Marvel is with Disney. It's kind of like what they did with Power Rangers, which I guess that's another thing I need to talk about. Even though it's already talked about, I still need to talk about it anyways. But still, I don't really like that re that union right now. I don't like that. Many people might like it. Many people who work for Marvel Comics like it, but I don't like it at all. I don't really like it. Next up is number seven, which I already said it, so why not? Power Rangers and Disney. Power Rangers in the Disney era was okay. I mean, let me do a rundown. Um, okay, yeah, sorry. It already gets screwed over already. Because Wild Force had a cool freaking song. Even though I think it was kind of stupid, it still had a cool song no matter what. And then you have, well, for Splendors. And I'm like, that's not the song I heard. That song is crap. That song is crap. It is. It's crap. Mostly all the songs they've done, they had promise, but then they crapped on it. Let me continue on. Um, Ninja Storm. Ninja Storm. Uh, Ninja Storm was okay, but I kind of think they did good, but it was kind of like, but on the other hand, it's just horrible that they force Power Rangers within the song, which I'm like, dude, you don't need to force it. You need to make it nice and natural, but you're forcing it in there. You're just straight up forcing it in there, which is not right. 
Dino Thunder was cool. Dino Thunder had a good thing. The only messed up part is what they did with Dino Thunder. Yeah, because the White Ranger actually dies in that series, and yet they kind of crappily handled that, unlike what their predecessor, Sabans, did. Like, for instance, the Green Ranger is supposed to die, so he loses his powers only. The... Um, Time Fire, aka Quantum Ranger, is supposed to die. Instead, they alter what happens to him so that he doesn't die. In this version, they do have a little bit horrible of a problem because this time it's his Morpher and his freaking Zord and him who gets destroyed. So it's kind of like it seems quite easy what you could do. It's the fact that. His Zord snatches his Morpher when it was about to self-destruct. And then he flies like into the sun and... Well, not into the sun, but he flies towards the sun and... <laughs> with everyone saying, oh my gosh, no. Yeah, that's how you fix it. That's how he could have fixed it. Of course, there's more things you could have fixed it. And if you guys want to hear me how I would basically fix his storyline, like below, comment down below, and I'll tell you. But still, let's see. Let's continue on. SPD. SPD started good, but then they crapped on it. <laughs> Not only that, but they admitted that they didn't even know that they're supposed to be another Ranger. So yeah, when Omega Ranger shows up and Nova Ranger shows up, they were like, oh, frick. Because they didn't even, they didn't even cast for it. So yeah, not only that, but the ones who actually showed up as... I forgot what his name was. I think it was Sam, yeah. Showed up as Sam and Nova. They were just nothing but people who were actually were writers of Power Rangers. So they just got the nice cameo because they didn't cast anyone for it. And that's why Sam stayed in his Ranger form because they didn't even know that they needed him. Which was kind of like, you could have went online. Let me see, Um, this is 2006, right? Yeah, you could have went online. <clears throat> yeah, because you know what Toei is. You know who it is. You guys bought from... You guys talk with Toei, you dumbasses. Sorry. But still, you go... You talk to them. Why not go on their freaking website and be like, Hmm. Um, Deca Ranger. Click. Ah, let's see. Let's see how many Rangers they have. Uh, let's see. They have the original five Rangers. Mm-hmm. Looks like they have this Shadow Ranger guy. What's well, the name of Shadow Ranger? Mm -hmm. Oh, Omega Ranger. Mm -hmm. Nova Ranger. Let's call them Nova and Omega Ranger. Mm -hmm. So that's what we need to do. Oh, yeah, and this other one, Deca Swan. We'll call it Cat Ranger. Mm -hmm. So that means that in all, we need nine people. See, look at that. Look how easy that freaking is. As. I can do it right now. I can go click online. Well, even though it's advanced now. But still, I can click on their freaking website and be like, hmm, Ninja? All right, let's see what they got. Uh, the five rangers and, oh, it looks like there's a six ranger. Okay. That's all I got to do is cast six people. Easy. Easy. You guys were like, oh, but we didn't get this crap. We didn't know. You know I'm like, you could freaking work it out, you dumb bastards. There's an internet. It's called go to Toei. Call email Toei and say, hey, by the way, how many Rangers are in this season? Doesn't that seem easy? Don't you think that's easy as frick to do? Alright, anyways, yeah, let's continue on. I'm going too too long. Uh Mystic Force. They had a promising intro, but it sucked as soon as they're like, here comes the Power Rangers. I'm like, oh god. Yeah, like, yeah, if you cut out the Here Come the Power Rangers part, and then, sadly, the rap. The rap sucks, too. I'll admit, the rap sucks, too. Yeah, yeah, the rap sucks. All right, um, after that was Operation Overdrive. Um, What was Operation Overdrive's song? Oh, yeah, that stupid pop, well, bang, just Operation Overdrive. Like, Oh my gosh, dude. Do you guys know how to freaking make a decent song? <clears throat> I mean, it's not as bad as Mask Rider's song. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Mask Rider made me not... That intro made me not want to watch that song, that TV show because of their intro. 
Yeah, but they kind of went to the point of they actually are in the part of Mask Rider. The fact that it's a song that I don't want to watch it because of the song. You know, just like, actually, just like um, Two and a Half, not Two and a Half Men, just like Big Bang Theory. Their song was so messed up, I didn't want to listen to it. But I found out it was Bare Naked Ladies, and I was like, oh, man, I love those guys when I was little. So I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> so Operation Overdrive kind of sucked. Yeah, I'm not going to get into their... Yeah, I'm not going to get into the plot and everything. I'm just going to nitpick. I'm mostly just nitpicking on their intros. That's all I'm going to do. If you want me to actually nitpick on season by season, definitely comment down below. I most likely will do that eventually. But if you guys want it, of course. Um, let's see. What's next? After Operation Overdrive, it was Jungle Fury. Oh, frick. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Jungle Fury sucked. That song was horrible as frick. That song was horrible as frick. Oh, my gosh. It sucked. They had a good plot, though. That's the good news. That's what saved them, was the good plot. But the freaking damn intro, it sucked. The intro sucked. Oh, my gosh, it sucked. Jungle Fury intro sucks. Oh, my gosh. There's, like, points of where I am watching Power Rangers, and then people ask me, hey, you watch Power Rangers? Dude, that's messed up. Yeah. And, and if they actually go into the intro and talk, if they're going to actually do that, actually go in the intro and say, hey, dude, you're listening to something that has this intro? I'm like, yeah, man. I, I'm too embarrassed. That's the messed up part is that when you're watching Power Rangers, you shouldn't be embarrassed on the intro. But most of the intros I was embarrassed on after when Disney took over, most of the intros were like, dude. But some of the instrumentals of it, perfect. But the words, damn. <laughs> Yeah, after Jungle Fury was Oper yeah, Operation I mean RPM. I was gonna say Operation Overdrive again. RPM. And that's where it got horrible. That's where it got horrible. The first song of it was horrible as frick. Of course some people told me that the pre version of it was okay. <coughs> well I didn't hear the pre version. All I heard was the first version and then the second version. And it was horrible. And then Oh, man, what's even worse was the fact of the premise of it. The fact of, why not we make it a horror film, but we had rangers. It's like, yeah, the last city of the world, a dome, but we had rangers. It's like, yeah, the zombie apocalypse, but we had rangers. It's like, dude, this is a messed up freaking crap. It could, it had a lot of potential, of course. Yeah, Dr. Dr. K, all of them. It was a good series. It was a very good series. It's just that, yeah. And don't let me mention about the two things they did. In, yeah, in this one, RPM, they actually decided to throw in a episode that makes you get thrown off. Because, yeah, I mean, you're supposed to be involved with the story. And then all of a sudden, they're like, oh, we're going to break the story and show you how we do things. Well, we're going to show you how we do things. We're going to show you that we do the acrobatics, the fact that we use strings, the fact that we have explosions. Yeah, we're going to show you lots and lots of stuff. And, like, I don't watch Power Rangers for that. That sounds like that should be an internet exclusive than an episode. And then, let me, not let me, just the Dino Thunder. Dino Thunder did it, too. The fact that they were, like, Let's put a Japanese episode in there because we sure don't know how in the world can we adapt this episode into English version, into American version. So we're just going to throw it in there and allow those guys to be like, oh, look at this. It's on a Japanese TV show. And like, yeah. Which I would like to also say thank you so much for doing that because as soon as you did 2010, that horrible refurbished version of Mind Over Power Rangers, which made the 90s look like a total piece of along with lame yeah thank you for that because i was able to go online and watch the next power Rangers season which is super sentai version instead of being like oh well and plus not only that but north carolina you suck 
North Carolina ABC, you suck mucho because it said that Power Rangers should be on, but instead of Power Rangers on, it was nothing but an infomercial or golf, which I was like, you said Power Rangers supposed to be on. What the frick is this? <clears throat> so, yeah, special thanks to Charlotte ABC. Total whore. <laughs> Total whore. Uh, all right. Um, I think I was like number seven. Yeah, so let's see. Is there anything else that the reason why I should you guys should dislike Disney? I think I listed mostly everything. Um, oh, number eight, Disney brainwashing girls. Yes, for many people, you don't really notice, but Disney over the years has been brainwashing girls. I mean, you have this whole idea of what you need to look for is a strong man, a man that's very macho. Oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, excluding Tarzan. Yeah, excluding Tarzan. I think there's like some others that I suppose to exclude as well. But <clears throat> because of Disney, everyone's, every single girl is looking for a Prince Charming. Yeah, they're looking for someone who was in the Disney film, but is now in... Yeah. Of course, they have previously debunked that, which I'm kind of happy. But on the other hand, it's kind of like, uh, but... Mm. <laughs> Let me just admit, Frozen and Enchanted made sure that they kind of broke the mode on that. They kind of broke it, but <clears throat> everyone's looking at the classic still, though. Everyone's still looking at the classics and still looking at that. So you still have them brainwashed, Disney. You still have them brainwashed. Even if you bring those two movies into this, you kind of still have them brainwashed. So, yeah. So when girls actually cry and say, dude, this guy I'm dating, he's supposed to be on Prince Charming and he broke my heart. I blame you, Disney. <laughs> when they go for dating some jerk bag who has muscles and is a total jerk and treat them like trash, who do I blame? I blame you, Disney. <laughs> so yeah, it's like, really, you brainwashed these freaking girls and now you just straight up yeah, you don't really help them out at all. <clears throat> um, Let's see. Yeah, that was like number eight, right? So number nine has to be the subliminal messages that you put in your freaking movies. Yeah. And I'll stop with number 10. Yeah, I have a good number 10 to end this. And then if I have any more, I'll do another so number nine is the fact that you put subliminal messages in your movies. The thing is, is that if you didn't want to do that crap, then technically you should actually have double checked and triple checked and made sure that it wouldn't be like that. <clears throat> because it's kind of like if you didn't mean to do it, then you should make sure it didn't happen in the first place. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, yeah, there there's so many freaking subliminal messages that I can tell you about. Like, there's one in <clears throat> Lion King. There was one in Notre Dame. I think there's many more. And then you had the whole penis thing in The Little Mermaid. And the list goes on and on. I bet even later years we'll find something in Princess and the Frog. And we might even find things in Enchanted and in Frozen and the rest of them that they have recently released. Which I really hope not, but sadly there is... They might do it. I mean, like look what happened in Frozen. Not Frozen. I'll say Frozen right now. In Frozen, they actually Easter egged um Rapunzel and he also Easter egg the princess from the princess and the frog yeah and let's also check out the fact of <coughs> excuse me in Rapunzel was it called Rapunzel no it was called Tangled and Tangled they actually had Pinocchio Easter egged in there so who's not to say that they didn't do subliminal messages all over again 
So, yeah, I'm just saying. And also, you infected freaking damn Pixar, too. Because in Toy Story, I didn't really notice it, but I later figured it out that you guys kind of did do something. He kind of said a cuss word in Toy Story. He kind of did say a cuss word. For people who are like, what? There was a cuss word in Toy Story? Yes. Do you remember that part where Mr. Potato Head took his mouth and put it in his back? I figured that he actually was changing his mouth to something else. Yeah, he was just getting another mouth out because, well, he needs another mouth for some reason. No, he was actually taking his mouth and kissing his butt with it. A.K.A. a kiss. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So... Even in 1993, when Pixar was first starting, you had Dis you had Disney who already freaking tainted them. And sadly, there's even more tainted stuff that's within. Yeah. But because I'm a good, I'm a Pixar fan, I love Pixar, I don't try to look for these. So if I do find more of them, I'm going to be sad as heck. But I will tell you guys. Yeah, I'll be sad as heck if they did do more. Disney, leave freaking Pixar alone. Leave Marvel alone too. Don't ever touch your put your hands in them. <clears throat> number ten. Number ten is one thing I'm gonna finish this off with. Number ten is the fact of Disney know they're evil, but they're trying to show that but evil people can change. <clears throat> There's two movies, maybe even more than that, but I have two movies to say that, mm-hmm, they're trying to do that, mm-hmm, yeah, we see. The first one is Wreck-It Ralph. In Wreck-It Ralph, you had a bad guy who wanted to become a good guy, who wanted to become a good guy within the eyes of the people. So they showed that even a bad guy can actually do good things. So it's kind of like a nice little mirror saying, we're Disney, we're nowhere bad. But we can do good things too. Frozen. In Frozen you had Elsa who was a bad guy. Well technically they wanted her to be a bad guy. But they changed it to a good guy. <clears throat> Somewhere down the road they basically show that Elsa. Even though she seems bad. She's a still a good person. So it's kind of like yeah you have Disney here. Who's trying to release a couple of films. That tries to say hey. Even though bad guys are bad, we can still do good things as well. And we can still change and become good. That's what they're trying to do. That's what they're trying to technically do. That's Which, that's the reason why I think we should definitely do not like Disney. And besides, Disney is becoming a monopoly. And that's one thing that's very, very bad is Disney is becoming a monopoly. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm ending this. I know this is a very, very long video, and I'm sorry for that, but I have to tell you, and oh my gosh, seriously, lady, let me finish this first. See? See, Disney. It's Disney. You see? Disney got her into this. This is why, because Disney got into her mind. She has Disney senses, and now she's like, oh crap, I need to save Disney. <laughs> but anyways, yes. Sorry for the video to being very long, but I had to do it so I can elaborate. But anyways, thank you for watching, and this is why I dislike Disney. This is why I hate Disney. Most likely, there's even more reasons why, and if I do find more, I will most likely make another video. And hopefully, I'll try to make it shorter. But for right now, this is how it is. Stay tuned for the next one if you guys care about it. But of course... Hey, it depends on you. If you like this video, please like it. Please comment. Make sure you make me know that I should continue on with this and also elaborate on any of the 10 reasons you should hate Disney. And I'll do that. So thank you for listening and I'm gone. Have a great day.